Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the OVA of D4DJ, or what we like to call it, D4DJ Double Mix, aka the show that's in between season one and season two. But I am excited. Finally, am I? I'm watching this after waiting for this and you know hearing about it and people getting to see it without the subtitles and I was like I gotta wait even more for it to be subbed and the last couple of weeks I've been wanting to do it and I'm like I need to do this at least before season two airs and season two is airing in the next couple of weeks and I was like it's now time and it features my two favorite groups Mermaid and Rondo so of course I am excited I cannot wait to see my girls like uh especially my best girl Rika because I love her so freaking much but I, I like I've already heard the song of course because you know as someone who plays it in both English and Japanese of course Japanese is always going to get the uh, the Japanese servers are always going to get it first and then the English servers will kind of get it like a couple of weeks to a month later for this song but other than that let's go ahead and get started and three two one go I feel like it's gonna be Subasa first yeah I think that's it yeah it is oh my god she's so pretty look at her They would play. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody's going to be happy. My, all the Rondo and Mermaid fans were happy because, you know, in season one, all we got... Which is little, like, tidbits. And then the little Kalili fans, you'll be happy too when we get to season two. Let's go, baby! <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so then I'm guessing this is taking place, like, right after D4FS for the, like, game-wise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, you're just perfect. <laughs> Aww. 
Oh, a smoothie sounds good, but it's 9.30 at night. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Rika. <laughs> that looks like no, that's my goes. I also saw like strawberries. <laughs> My child is having a magical girl moment and I love it. God, she's so pretty. <laughs> My baby and her snuggle too. Oh my god. <laughs> I do love the fact that they all are showing everyone else. And such, but then it makes you also think that, you know, two people have to graduate from the series due to health, re well, one to health reasons, the other one due to wanting to focus on another music series with her group and another series that, the group that she's in that I love so much. And I get it, but still, it, it makes you miss them so freaking much. Please, I will you stop, you know, so, <laughs> so Bucky is over here like, please don't get so close to me. Oh my God, you make me nervous.
Hey, dear. I, I mean, hey. <laughs> Fuck At least she's asking. True, yes, Mermaid and Rondo have completely different vibes, but it can work. <laughs> and then who knows? Maybe Mermaid fans want to come in and be a member's club. <laughs> yes, believe <laughs> Damn, Nagisa. <laughs> Shit, I joined that club. <laughs> oh, that's Saudi for you. <laughs> You're right. I mean, and that makes sense. 
And it kind of, like, gives me hope that we do get a lot more of Mermaid Rondo events together. Because as of now, I can only really think of one. No, no, no. I can think of two. One was a collab, and then one was the very first one, like, when the game came out. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Precious baby girl, oh my god. My shy baby. Literally both Subaki and Rika are like halves of me. It's so cute. My precious babies, oh my god. True. Definitely a big away game. I know it ain't over yet. I mean, because they got to do the dang song. Oh my god, they're going <laughs> to.
Oh, dang, they have everybody here. Oh, my God. Hearing <laughs> her is Ray one last time. Oh, that hurts. Oh, dang, like, n no lyrical lily? Jesus! <laughs> like, they literally said, nah, yeah, mm -hmm. all the lyrical lily fans, y'all gotta wait till season two. God, this song is so good. And they, they didn't even show, they didn't even have Fonton speak in this. Oh, well, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh my god, Ibuki. My Aya, I'm gonna miss her. Oh, and there you go! Yes! <laughs> they were like, yeah, we're gonna show their Kalili like this, but they're just not gonna get anything. Okay, so for an OVA episode, literally focusing on my two favorite groups, like, yes. I, I, I really kind of wish, and, and let me go into, like, Idol Master Cinderella Girls real quick. Okay. Or just Idol Master in general. We know how big Idol Master is, and the spinoffs that they've gotten, aka like Cinderella Girls, Shiny Colors, Side M, uh, Theater Days, which is also with the original Idol Master Girls and such. Um, but sometimes you, what you kind of want to see with those other spinoff shows is like a spinoff within the spinoff, almost very similar to like Love Live. Or, um, maybe even Pretty about it. So, I, like, okay, because Cinderella Girls is officially doing something. Um, sometime, I'm guessing between March and April, so, like, spring of next year, um, Cinderella Girls is doing a spinoff focusing on the kids. Like, 
at least five kids and one of them is unvoiced possibly maybe officially for the anime she is going to get a new voice um and their producer and so if that does well because i know i am going to react to that when that comes out if that does well that kind of opens up like the floodgates on saying like oh hey since the kid version of this did well with their spinoff why don't we go ahead and do the after 20 spinoff spoke uh focusing on like the five or six couple adult idols that are fan favorites in the cinderella girls um casts and stuff and then maybe do one for the teenagers and so i kind of want to see that with Mermaid of Rondo, and then you can also add um, the Call of Artemis girls because they're officially, as of like the current update in the game, or we're now on second, we're on the second anniversary. So by anniversary one, they came back together as a group. They're still a group by anniversary two, and then I'm guessing the Abyss Mayor girls they also have to be adults because they're they're the only girl. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's right. That's right. The Abbas Mayor group, they're the only girls whose ages we don't know yet. We know that Michiru's group is all, they're all teenagers and they all go to school and I think they all go to like the same school and that two girls in that unit, they are dating. It's officially canon that they are together. So you kind of want to just see like spinoffs on other characters and such. Like as much as I like, love like, you know, seeing Rinku and, you know, Kyoko and everyone else, I do because of the fact is like when I Finally, you know, not looking at Idol Master Cinderella Girls or just Idol Master in general or even Love Live or um, even Bang Dream and such. With Bang Dream, they're, they're doing something different where it's like, oh, hey, we're taking these girls that were in high school. Some of them are graduating and they're, and they're now going on to, off to college and they're now officially adults while some of them are still in high school. And I, and I love that. But the one thing that drawn that drew me to both Mermaid and Rondo, like especially when like all the um, the first like it information of like everything came out for this series and such, because you know the game is always going to come out first and then the anime is second, because that's how they do their ish. Come on, I mean, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, because with with Bang Dream they did something different. First it was the anime first, then it was the game and such and so they did a like a switcheroo where it was like okay d4 dj game first then anime or no no because the, the game came out halloween so technically it was anime no it, well no it was the pre-game first the pre-registration first then the anime then the official game so with the pre-release they also had like that one the one app that only lets you play a couple of songs and such, which was good. And, you know, that's how I was good at some of the songs and not so good at the others. But, yeah, but the, like I said, the biggest thing about why Mermaid and Rondo were, I was immediately drawn to them was because they were adults and stuff. Yes, I have no problem, like, still relating to teenagers and such, but as someone who is an adult and, you know, you get to see someone who is around your age group, um doing certain things especially you know like not that well the drinking is the funny side of it <laughs> just doing regular adult things but still getting being able to hang out with some of the teenagers of the group and just being like the older sisters of it is sweet and i really hope that when we get into season two in the next couple of weeks we do get to see all of that like yes as much as i loved seeing mermaid and rondo like doing a song together and having an episode literally focusing on them and being like oh I don't know if we're really going to work out because yeah we are two different groups we are both two different vibes like how in the world is this going to work with us like you know Rondo is rock and Mermaid is pop and so how is that going to work and it, and it worked and it worked brilliantly and it makes me want to be like okay so you know let's do another freaking peaky peaky and you know happy around thing again because they work so well then i would say do lyrical lily and fontal Manor because that actually would be really interesting because that group those two groups are very different and you, just like with maria rondo you just wonder how in the world that's gonna work and then you have abyss mayor and Michiru's group work together, but then I also would like to see Call of Artemis doing stuff maybe with Mermaid and Rondo, or just like I said, do Call of Artemis, Mermaid, Rondo, and Abyss Mare, all four of those groups together in one song. 
genius. I, I just need it. There's so many things that they could do for season two. And, you know, we ain't going to know until a couple of weeks from now. But from what the trailer has officially gone, I, I'm guessing the first episode is going to be very heavily focused on Lyrical Lily because Lyrical Lily is officially now the only group that has not had like their story out there like technically they've they, they're in this but it's more or less like okay everyone else got speaking roles Lyrical Lily is the only one that isn't so that has not had one so I'm guessing like maybe the first three to four episodes will be Lyrical Lily focus based because like I said they're the only group and that will make a lot of Lyrical Lily fans happy because, of course, like, they've made everyone else happy. It's now Lyrical Lily's time to shine and such. And honestly, I cannot wait to see, you know, my other baby, Miko, because <laughs> precious horror baby. Love her so freaking much. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards D4DJ Double Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please, damn, I gotta make a thumbnail tonight. <laughs> please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially. I think it's the 5th that the first episode of Second Mix is airing. I'm not 100% sure. Or I think it's called D4DJ All Mix, I believe. Or but I'll either be calling it All Mix or Season 2. We don't know. But I, like I said, I think it's the 5th. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.